We're checking in once again at the Nanaimo Daily News. Spencer Anderson, a lot of the political reporting covers City Hall, and you're starting to gear up for a lot of election. Yeah, coverage. election coverage. How would you describe what you know so far about the upcoming election? We know that it's going to be really different uh, because it's a brand new federal riding. We have all new candidates. All new candidates? Pretty much. Wow. I mean, we have uh, Mark McDonald running for the Conservatives, uh, has not run before. Sheila Malcolmson has not run before. Uh, we have uh, a new Green candidate as well, uh, a new Liberal candidate, Paul Manley and Tim Tessier, respectively. So, it, new dynamics uh, at a federal level as well. So, I think lots of interesting things happening here. And it's a longer campaign, one of the longest in history. So, that's yeah. something new as well. It is a very long campaign. I think it's the longest since the 1800s when there was no internet, certainly, and no phone service, and it took weeks for election results to get across the country. So this is a very long federal campaign. Do you think that's an advantage for, for, for a reporter and therefore the, the general public because you have more time to get in and know the candidates and know the issues? So, so. Or are you just sort of out of the gate just as fast as, as ever? I guess it's, I mean, we, we always gear our coverage to things that are happening. So the fact that it's a longer campaign there's more opportunity for coverage, obviously, of the candidates. Mm -hmm. um, and I suppose more opportunity for interesting things to happen on the campaign trail. So it's, it's definitely going to be a long haul, but we're looking forward to the the coverage for sure. Okay, I won't ask you any predictions or anything <laughs> like that. We'll stay on the line I here. I have no idea. <laughs> you wouldn't do that for me, I don't think. Um, one of the things you wanted to talk about, we always touch base and say, well, what are we going to touch on today? And and you mentioned Colliery Dams. Sure. Uh, there's a lot of activity that's going to start pl taking place there yeah. as of September the 1st, and the issue still isn't at rest. It's well, been going on for three years. The actual physical work um, the city says it's supposed to start next week. It's supposed to be uh, work on the land, work on the park, that kind of thing. So uh, at the same time, there's also uh, uh, some members of the public saying that they're going to be protesting this uh, physically in the park. So we'll see what happens. But this is an interesting development just insofar as for the first time in almost three years is actually going to be something um, physically uh, happening in terms of a project at that part. You think we're going to get people chaining themselves to trees and that type of protest? We'll cover it if it happens. Always right? exciting coverage. I, no idea. We'll <laughs> see what happens. <laughs> okay, and uh, Spencer's a big yeah. tweeter. Uh, you can follow him and communicate with him. Spencer under, no, Anderson underscore Spence. Yeah, at Anderson underscore Spence. At yeah. Anderson underscore Spence. And, you're and at, at Nanaimo Daily, too. We tweet from there a lot as well. Excellent. Okay, this is another installment of Behind the Read. We'll be back next week with something else from the newspaper. <laughs> Thanks. Hi, I'm Crystal Dennison, Executive Director of the Nanaimo Ladysmith Schools Foundation, and we're right in the middle of our Stock the Lockers campaign. Our goal this year is to raise $50,000 to help students in our district receive adequate school supplies as well as basic unmet needs such as meals, breakfast programs, running shoes, eyeglasses, field trip money, um, all the basic things that kids need to be successful in our district. So if you'd like to get involved, we're rallying the community behind us to help us raise our goal of $50,000. Please check everything out on our website at www.nlsf.ca for more information. Thank you. You're watching Go for August 28th through September the 4th. Yes, September already. We're cruising the CD aisles here at Fascinating Rhythm in downtown Nanaimo. And we're in Todd's favorite section, Todd Jones. The Ramones, the Ramones. There's a whole bunch of them here. I don't know, Todd, do you have, do you have this one? Brain Drain, you got that one? What about Road to Ruin? You got that one? He listens to uh, the Ramones at his desk on his iPod all the time. Well, here's one maybe. I don't even know what this was. Subterranean Jungle. And maybe this is uh, for his birthday present. We're out of here. Yeah, should we do that one? Okay, well, maybe while we decide if we want to get this for Todd Jones, we're going to put him to work because as promised, here's clocked.